What do you mean? 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 That's the name of the channel. What do you mean with a an exclamation point and a question? Well, howdy there, internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Biden and Iran. Here's what Trump said. So let's get this straight. We did a hostage trade with Iran. We gave them five very tough, smart people that they desperately wanted. We likewise got five people, but we also gave them $6 billion. How much of a kickback does crooked Joe Biden get? Does anyone realize how much money $6 billion is? Yeah, it's about how much your casinos lost, isn't it? When I was president, I got back 58 hostages for zero money. Remember Pastor Brunson? It sets a terrible precedent. Republicans, call out the 25th Amendment now. Biden is incompetent. So this is what's actually occurring. There is roughly $6 billion. Most of it is in uh, South Korean accounts. It's Iran's money. It's frozen due to sanctions. The United States is going to provide a waiver so South Korea can transfer that money, not to Iran, but to Qatar, Qatar for most Americans. It will go to financial institutions there. The government there will oversee its dispersal for humanitarian aid and only humanitarian aid to be delivered to Iran. So what's actually happening? The United States is providing humanitarian aid to Iran using Iran's money. That's what's occurring. That was the, the mark to get this moving. As far as the actual prisoner exchange, it's one for one. Five Iranians, five Americans. That's what's happening. All right, I'm going to have the links to the videos by Bo and Farron in the description box. And the reason I'm making this video is because I couldn't hear what Trump had to say about foreign policy and exchanging prisoners without remembering this part of a video I made about Afghanistan on this channel. And I'm going to play it for you now. Joint declaration between the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan and the United States of America for bringing peace to Afghanistan. It's only a three page document and I want to show you something on page three. The Islamic Republic of Afghanistan will participate in US facilitated discussions with Taliban representatives on confidence building measures to include determining the feasibility of releasing significant numbers of prisoners on both sides. Now, here's another document I would like to show you, and this says, Agreement for bringing peace to Afghanistan between the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, which is not recognized by the United States as a state and is known as the Taliban, and the United States of America, February 29th, 2020. This is a four-page document, and here, I just want to read you this word salad. The United States is committed to start immediately to work with all relevant sides on a plan to export expeditionally release combat and political prisoners as a confidence building measure with the coordination and approval of all relevant sides. Up to 5,000, so 5,000 prisoners of the Islamic Emirates of Afghanistan, which is not recognized by the United States, says a state and is known as the Taliban, and up to 1,000 prisoners of the other side will be released by March 10th, 2020. Now what does that mean? What does this sentence mean. Now who has to hand over a thousand people and who has to hand over five thousand people? Well we'll find out because if we go back to the other document and how it said UN Security Council to remove members of the Taliban from the sanctions list with the aim of achieving this objective by May 29th 2020. Now I have that. I have that UN Security Council document. And now I must read this to you. Differences in interpretation of the agreement will be difficult to resolve. Afghan government interlocutors informed the monitoring team that the provision of the release of up to 5,000 Taliban prisoners came as a surprise and that the sudden release of so many prisoners would be a complicated exercise. Many officials were especially reluctant to free Taliban prisoners who had participated in high-profile 
style attack, fearing they would simply return to the battlefield as soon as they were released. Since the end of February, an increase in abductions of government officials and civilians have been noted, suggesting that the Taliban did not actually hold 1,000 Afghan forces prisoners, but were seeking to boost prisoner numbers for the exchange. So there you have it. They handed over 5,000 members of the Taliban in exchange for 1,000 prisoners which the Taliban didn't even have. They had to make up the numbers last minute. So you see why I had to slap this video together for the fact that the conversation is even about Biden's foreign policy with the exchange of five prisoners each, one for one, and using their own money to pay for their humanitarian aid seems like smart foreign policy the fact that that's even being discussed by the guy who pulled out of the iran nuclear deal and killed one of the top military leaders and paired with the fact that did you know about that god-awful deal with the Taliban of one to five, with the Taliban getting back 5,000 people. It didn't even have 1,000 people to trade. They had to kidnap people to make up the numbers. Did you know about that before this video on this tiny-ass channel? Probably not. Probably not. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Share this. Tell other people to subscribe. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Do you mean what? Do you mean what? Do you mean what?